New at 10 tonight, a major mass casualty exercise is hours away. Local police and officials from several national, state, and local agencies are taking part in tomorrow's drill, which will start in North Kingstown and end in Providence. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace joins us now live from Providence with a preview for us tonight. Mike, dozens of emergency responders will be giving their full attention tomorrow to an Amtrak train that will be carrying a lot of passengers. Trains could be easy targets for terrorists who want mass casualties and widespread destruction. Rhode Island first responders and Amtrak are sponsoring a full-scale emergency response exercise Saturday from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. to prepare for the worst. And our scenario tomorrow is a terrorist attack aboard a Amtrak train. 80 volunteers will act as passengers. The event will begin at Workford Junction Station in North Kingstown and end at the Amtrak Maintenance of Way Yard on Royal Little Drive in Providence. We actually want to put passengers on a train and actually move that train from one location to another. Again, we're trying to do some planning uh, when it comes to you know how do you deal with something that's on the move. Uh, so we want to have a real live train. The drill will test the ability of approximately 80 local first responders and about a half a dozen agencies, including the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force. Pete Gaynor with the Providence Emergency Management Agency says they want the exercise to be as real as possible. You have a written plan for a lot of things, and that's great to have it on paper, but uh, really the test is, does the plan work? Uh, are there flaws in the plan? And hopefully, of course, there are no flaws, but if so, this is one of the best ways to find out. This has involved 12 months of planning and is being called a full-scale exercise. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.